Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. When I was much, much younger, I don't know, like 16, 17 years old, I read this somewhere, I can't remember where. Small people, like small-minded people, uh, are uh, um, concerned with small issues. They have small problems. And, you know, uh, sophisticated people with a lot of thinking, they are, you know, deep thinkers. And they go and are, in, you know, interested in bigger things, more important things. This is something that I noticed uh, in the mass media in the West, more than where I come from. Uh, those had, they had their scenes over there, but this is something that I, I saw. And not that, only the mass media, but I saw the people who read the mass media or watch the news and entertainment industry. Uh, they are very happy with little, little victories. Not, they, don't, they will not win the war, but with little victories. And uh, they don't understand that, they do not understand that their little, vic their little victory over their little battle that they think they won w will be, <laughs> they're losing, but they are happy with that like they're winning, but they're not. The, the other guys are winning, the other side. So uh, let me, this is a, a clear example of uh, what I'm talking about, where uh, Putin uh, got issued that um, arrest warrant that uh, is, you know, uh, it's not going to be enforced in many, many, many countries. And we have here a little bit of that little victory and that happiness among us with this kind of uh, headline. Putin will get arrested if he comes to Germany. Now, you know that he's not going to go to Germany. That's the first one. It's not even the case. Not that he, he will. He, he will, doesn't have to. He has nothing to do over there. That's the first thing. But the second one is another article right here. Minister, Germany will have to arrest Putin if he enters its territory. This is just like, you know, nobody asks you anything and you just try to uh, seem to be relevant. Germany, nobody asks you anything. But hey, if he comes here, we're going to arrest him. We're tough. No, you're not tough. You don't have a military. You don't have weapons. You don't have anything. You don't have even nuclear weapons. You don't have anything. You have the American troops on your territory. They wrote your constitution. How? They said, hey, Hans, go and write your constitution. Okay, here is my constitution. But hey, the Second Amendment, forget about it. And the first one, too. All right? No freedom of, no freedom of expression or freedom of, the, of, of speech. No. No, 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 that just for us, we're going to take care of it later in our country. Right now, just go and write it. Bring it back to me, and as a teacher, and you as a student, I will look, no, no, you can't have this, Hans, go back. That, and Hans should say, you know what, uh, why in the hell you don't take this piece of paper and you write it, and that's it. Instead of me coming and trying, bring it back, say, no, 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 nice try, but go back. You know, that's, so Germany, you're very not really important. Besides, your industry goes to the uh, United States right now. <laughs> so you're going to be just a vassal state like everybody else in the area. So here you're happy without that. But I have another um, uh, headline to give you. And that is, he can't go to, to Germany because the tough Germany will arrest Putin. Yeah, but he can go to the United States of America. They will not arrest him. Did you think about this idiocracy? So if Putin goes to the United States of America, he can go over there, he will not get arrested. He doesn't have a warrant. You know why? Because as bad as Russia is and, and did not ratify and withdrew his signature from the International Criminal Court in Hague, the same did the United States of America. So here, the big guys are together. They want to commit certain kind of <clears throat> activities around the world without being under the jurisdiction of the international criminal court but other weasels they are under that jurisdiction the big dogs well guess what china is not india is not pakistan is not many many other countries are not so when germany says yeah we're gonna arrest you you're a weasel you're a loser you are why because you allow an international court to arrest to uh, arrest and uh, what put in front of a judge or five judges or how many they are over there, your citizens. Why? Because you're a bottom feeder. That's what. America will not allow that. Russia will not allow that. No, you're not going to judge and, uh, you know, convict my citizens. You're below. Move. Never come back. The same here. Hey, go and play your little music to another table. 
go over there, not here. But Germany, yeah, yeah, uh, we will, yeah, we're, wir müssen, uh, whatever. This is what's going on, my friends. You got weasel states that, yes, we will arrest. I guarantee you that if Putin, I don't even, I can't even imagine, but this is just a, um, a virtue signaling from a country that you, listen, my entire life, since I've been around, and I heard the name Germany, I loved Germany. I liked Germans. And you like it or not, I will tell you how I got to love them. By watching Hollywood movies. Actually, that was together with another incident. So when I was, I don't know, four years old, five years old, I, don't know, I was with my, bro my brother and we were with my grandfather. And um, we were like, who you like, what kind of team, whatever. And uh, we played soccer for four or five, something like that. And uh, he said, well, here's Germany. I said, I like Germany. He showed me Germany because I was about to, uh, to uh, pick a guy who's my favorite. And he showed me over there, who's this guy? I like one guy over there in the whole team. And he was blonde and I didn't like him like that. I was like five anyway. And uh, not, nothing wrong with that either. <laughs> And that was Karl Heinz Rummenigge. And since then, I liked Karl Heinz Rummenigge all my life. And then Germany, I watched the Hollywood movies and I liked the discipline. How orderly the German army was portrayed to be. How they wore those uh, Hugo Boss uh, clothes. Not designed, not designed by Hugo Boss, but anyway, they were beautiful. And all that discipline, all their lockstep. I would like it as a child. I don't know, when I felt something, I always liked Germany. And to hear and to see what Germany Germany is right now, is, it, it hurts my heart. I always remember that, I always remember. I remember when I used to ask my father, why are, after watch, I'm being a child, why are the Germans always losing here in the war, you know, the, the war in the, in the movies, the Hollywood movies. And my, son, my dad said, because they lost the war, that's why they're always losing. I said, well, didn't they win? from time to time, you know, I was desperate, you know, there were, those were my guys, the guys, and I said, yeah, they won, but why would they not show them? Well, because the victors make the movies. If the Germans would have won, they would show it the other way around. I was a kid, but anyway, it hurts me. And now the Germans are trying to play tough. You know, when you're gonna show us playing tough with, let's say, uh, Poland, then we're gonna talk or other countries. You play tough only with a very, very small, you know, bottom feeders. I mean, really, you ask Israel, Germany asked Israel for defense, air defense systems. What the hell is that? And uh, Germany was always, always, always known for its technology, right? For technical stuff. They asked the, uh, Israel to give them, uh, and the, the, the Germans, I think, them give them submarines or something. Um, nuclear submarines, but they don't have nuclear. <laughs> yeah, they don't have uh, nuclear weapons, and you have uh, American troops on that. So yeah, if Putin goes over there, uh, he's gonna be arrested. But he can go to America, no problem. And there was a minister, the defense minister, the new guy who's uh, a yes sir to the big masters. He's the one who said, well, if Putin comes over here, if he dares to come over here, if he comes over there, he's gonna come on a, on a tank. Okay, T-72 or T-80 or Armada, that's how Putin is going to come over there. Or he's just going to land with his uh, Katyusha, uh, whatever that is, presidential uh, plane over there and you're going to roll the red carpet because that's what you became. The bicycle of the neighborhood, as someone would say. You know, that everybody has it however, whenever, <laughs> for how long they want. Yeah. We're gonna arrest Putin. First, go and suck the guy's uh, uh, lollipop, and then when you can uh, talk about Russia, go ahead. When they allow you, when you say, "Can I talk now?" No. Can I talk now? No. It's embarrassing, man. It's just embarrassing. That's what it is. And I feel frustrated because I like the German nation. I like its history. I like its philosophers, sports, and all that. And not only, but uh, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just, my friends.